In this video, we will look at solving equations with radicals that have two roots in the problem. With two roots, we must first isolate one root and then square both sides or use whatever exponent is appropriate. Then, we will isolate the term with the other root and again square both sides. In other words, we're solving one root at a time. For example, in this problem, we already have a root isolated. This root is already to be cleared. We get rid of that root by squaring both sides. On the left side, when we square, we must square the first term. Squaring a square root will just give the inside. And then the product is there twice. 1 times the square root plus 1 times the square root is 2 times the square root. Squaring the last term, 1 squared is 1. On the other side, square and square root are inverses, leaving just the x plus 12. Now that we've cleared one root, we'll go after the other root by isolating the term with the other root by subtracting x and subtracting 1 from both sides. Conveniently, the x is subtracted out on the right as well. We have 2 times the square root of x equals 11. At this point, we have the option to divide by 2 or to keep the 2. As the 2 is part of the term with the square root, it is not necessary to remove it. If we were to remove it, we would end up with a fraction on the other side. So let's keep the 2 there and instead jump right to squaring both sides as the term is alone. As we do, we must square both parts. 2 squared is 4. And when we square the square root, we're just left with the x equals squaring the other side, 11 squared is 121. Finally, we can isolate the x by dividing by 4, and we find x is equal to the fraction 121 over 4. We must not forget, though, that this problem had even roots. Whenever there's an even root, we do want to make sure we check our final answer in the original equation. The original equation was the square root of x, or 121 over 4, plus 1, equals the square root of x, or 121 over 4, plus 12. Taking the square root of a fraction, we know we can take the square root of the numerator and the denominator. This gives us 11 halves, plus 1. On the other side, we would need to get a common denominator on the 12, which is 4. And once we get a common denominator, we find out 121 plus 48 is 169 over our denominator of 4. On the left side, adding 11 halves plus 1, getting a common denominator of 2, would give us 13 halves. On the right side, taking the square root of a fraction, we know we can take the square root of the numerator and denominator. The square root of 169 is 13, and the square root of 4 is 2. Because it works on both sides, giving us the same thing, 121 over 4 is the solution to this equation. When we have two radicals, we simply have to solve one at a time by isolating one, squaring both sides, and then isolating the term with the other and squaring both sides again. In part 2 of this video, we will solve a problem that is slightly more involved than this one.